Hi, even though I promised that I will no longer be reviewing this type of get rich quick schemes, I also promised that I was going to show you how you can actually be doing your own researches, how you can actually find out all the information you would need on your platform. So in today's video, I'm going to show you over about four tools which you can use to analyze or check a website for information which might help you know if a website is legit or not. So this video is going to be a little bit long and it's going to be worth your time. So make sure that you watch this video to the end. Okay. So to simplify things, I've created uh, a lot of tools. So you can find these tools on my website. So these tools are going to help you quickly find all the information about any website in the world. So the tools are found on tools.keithrains dot me so this page has got more than 220 tools but as of today in this video you're only going to focus on uh four or five tools so the first two we're going to be using is the who is lookup okay the other two maybe you might find useful is the ip lookup the dns lookup the website hosting checker and the self url checker so how can these tools help you know if your website is legit or not? So let's find out. So if you've been watching most of my videos, I'll probably already know what these tools are. Okay. So in this case, uh, we're going to be checking out my website. So we're going to be, everything I'm going to do here, we're going to be checking out the website. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use the who is lookup. So what is the who is lookup? So this is a tool of which you can use to check information about who the owner of the website, when 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 was the domain purchased, when was the domain updated, okay, things like that. So with this tool you can check out the domain registrar. So the domain registrar is a platform where you actually, where people buy domains from. So you'll be able to know where the domain was bought from so why is this a good thing so by knowing where a person bought the domain from you can actually contact that website and tell the company that no the, the person located this website you're requesting for more information about this person he created this platform and he scammed people so by knowing where the domain was bought it can actually help you even in investigating okay yeah then you'll be able to know the expiration date when the domain will expire, the status of the domain and the contact numbers and everything else. So let's check it out. So here is the domain uh, who is lookup. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter my domain name. So remember, my domain name is keithrens.me and I'm going to click on submit. So let's find out. Okay. So as you can see, the registrar of this domain name is Namecheap. So I bought my domain name from Namecheap. So you can simply go to Namecheap. Okay. So you can actually buy domain names like the very affordable Namecheap. This is where I bought mine of about four or five years ago. Okay. And as you can see, it was issued or created on 12 September 2019. So my website or my domain name is now four plus years old. Okay. So this is the domain name. So by knowing where someone bought a domain name from, it can actually help you like, even if, if you submit this information to the police or Zikta, I'm sure they might be able to contact Namecheap and find out uh, details about this person who is the owner of this website. So finding out who the person behind the website shouldn't be hard like in this modern age but I wonder why it is that hard okay so let's continue so as you can see it was issued on 12 September 2019 okay and I updated it on 8 May 2022 and it's expiring on 12th September 2023 okay so let me talk about one thing the expiry date does not mean when the website will stop working. The, ex the expiry date is, so when it comes to domain name, 
domain names are paid and renewed every year like you can't pay monthly but if you want you can pay for a domain name for three years four years five years it's up to you but okay it's possible someone may loan to website today which is supposed to expire next year but if if the owner of the website may take it offline within a week so the domain expired date does not mean that that is when the domain will stop working so the website can stop working at any time and we've seen this happening with many platforms okay then the last thing we're going to see on these two is the name servers so what are name servers i don't know how i can explain this uh okay uh okay i think i'm going to explain this later in this same video so for now we know how to know when the website was created so why is it important to know when the website was created because this type of website like these get rich quick schemes like they will come to you and say no our website has been existing for five years our website has been existing for two years but in reality if you check when the website was created we're going to find that the website is less than a month old and there's enough proof on this channel that i've reviewed this uh, several platforms which you are claiming that they are two plus years old but when you checked out how long they've been existing or when it was created you actually found out that the website is just a month old so this is how we can actually know the other advantage of knowing when the website was created is because if you're a risk taker you'll be able to know when to enter and when to exit that platform so by entering early and leaving early might be a good idea but as a sometimes that might not always work okay so we are done with the first two the next two we're going to make use of is the ip lookup no we're going to go with the dns lookup so the dns lookup is also going to help us find information about the website we need so remember all these links will be in the description so you can paste them in your notebook yeah like a notes app on your phone so you can get to check them at any time if you like okay so these are the domain records so with this uh domain records so the first record you are going to see is called a, an a record so the a record points the domain name to the hosting provider so as you can see the the host is kithrens.me and this is ip so now this ip is going to help us know where this website is located so on the list of tools this is where now we'll get to use the ip lookup so i'm going to copy the ip lookup and i'm going to paste it in this tab so what i'm going to do is i'll copy this ip and i'll paste it here and i'll click on submit and you're going to find that okay this website is hosted in north america country united states america and chicago this is the time zone okay but this information to you might not be useful but for now let's keep on let's continue with the most important ones so these are the domain records okay and these are the name servers so these are the dns records so how can name server records help you so the ns records can help you know which platform is managing a site's domain records so in case of anything we can actually get to contact these platforms and find out more information about the website or you can actually report the website to these platforms and say no this website is coming people it's a bad uh, website blah 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 and so on so by the way this is voucher.com this is where i actually host my website from so voucher.com is really a good hosting provider like they really have got a uh, good fast and secure uh, virtual private servers and they are affordable and they are very good yeah okay so let's continue okay now we are done with the most important part so on the dns records one thing you want to look for is the a record and the ns or name server records which will tell you which platform is managing the domain records then the other two we're going to focus on is the self url checker so what is this self so i'm going to paste it here 
so this self url checker it checks using the uh using google so i'm going to paste in the website and we're going to check if this website is safe to use okay so let's check out if this website it is safe to use by anyone okay so it's saying your url is marked as safe so if it's showing that it's not safe then you should probably not use it at all then now the last two we're going to be needing is the website hosting checker okay although uh, i've already shown you you can check who is hosting the website but these two will simplify things on how to know which website the person is using to host the website so what i'm going to do is i'm going to paste the website again so as you can see this website is hosted by voucher of which i already showed you and in canada the city of toronto okay so now that we know which platform is hosting this website so you can actually get to contact your voucher and find out more information about who is hosting this website like more information about who they are okay so these are some of the tools you can actually get to use to know about information that a platform might not share but this information is publicly available on the internet so bookmark these tools okay they may be of help and feel free to share them with anyone so if you learned something from this video give it a like for more videos like this go on and subscribe bye for now